What's going on there fellow YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of On The Bench with Pete. And we're going to be doing a little bit of a different one this episode because I am going to be doing bits and pieces but quite varied like I'll be chopping from terrain to models, big models, small models, at least that's the plan. Uh, got more work to do on my Magnus the Red. Uh, so I've got more work to do on him and I've got some more work to do on my terrain and I've got more little guys to do as well so this is the video series that you put on in the background whilst you hobby you do your building or your painting and you just want something to drone away in the background and that's what this video is all about we get hobby done together and uh, get through these uh, duller tasks as it were so um, Grab some brushes and paints and glues and whatever else you need. And um, let's get down to our hobby bench. Now, this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with Magnus. And I've got to start with his hair. Because, believe it or not... Ah, there we go. Yeah, he needs another um, wash of null oil on his hair. So I'm going to start with that see where we go from there. My, hob my hobby bench is an absolute atrocious mess, the sort that it shouldn't be. Let me just put my phone on to silent. There we go. I'll pop it in front of me so I can see if it rings. Right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, so these brushes behind him. Move my retarder out of the way slightly. I did a little bit of building uh, yesterday as well. Ha, well, I say a little bit, but not much really. I just started doing the um, putting the um, chest plate together there for um, exactly in five pieces, six pieces. Yeah, six pieces. Just so that I could um, undercoat it, and they undercoated it with lead belcher on um, Warhammer TV. So I thought oh, I'll do the same with mine. So uh, let's get this um, non oil on his hair. You've got to be really careful with um, this bit because when you're going down this towards the ends, you've got danger of splashing the wings. I really don't want to do that. So just be careful how you approach it. So that's what I'm going to do. So what am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm a little bit annoyed today actually for two reasons. My uh, my spare camcorder was due to arrive today at the latest and it hasn't. I didn't think it would. I just had that feeling, you know, you do sometimes with certain sellers. Pain in the backside, which is very, very irritating. But somehow, I just knew. I just knew. Well, all I can say is, mister, you're getting a a case opened against you tomorrow first thing uh, I've got a new mattress arriving tomorrow which I have to um, be ready to intercept when they arrive to direct them where it's going and so on and so forth so that'll be fun and games um, Now the other thing I'm annoyed about is uh, I applied for a job yesterday. Doesn't matter what it is, but uh, I applied on the the website where I was directed to go, and it specifically asked me, it "said Do you want to be employed in a self-employed basis or not?" So I put no because you know I'm already self-employed in another capacity. I just wanted. Um, some extra money really like we all do um, and then they came back saying 
today saying, you know, I'm sorry, it's, uh, we're not going to take you on. They listed their reasons. I think the main reason that they didn't want to take me on was because I've got MS, but that's another story. We'll leave that um, to one side for another time. Um, but top of their list was, you said you didn't want to be self-employed, but we only employ people on a self-employed basis. And I thought, well, why do you ask then? You know, where is the sense in that? That's got like no sense at all. Anyway, so what am I after? I'm after the after a colour called the Fang. In resin grey, I might need that later. Uh, if it's here, you know, I don't know if it'll be here. Because Pete doesn't organise his paints ready in time. Russ Gray, I might need that one. The Fang, the Fang. Dark Reaper. Slash Gray. We're looking for the Fang. Because it could be a, a blue. Which I'm not entirely sure of. If it's if it's more blue than grey, then I'll find it in the blue compartment. Well, I'm not seeing it here. In fact, tell you what, I'll come back to you when I've found it. Right, I'm back. <laughs> found it. The thing. It's quite a blue paint. I think we could do with, oh my word. One thing we're going to pop in there. If I can find, yeah, some thinners. Some thinners. Drop of retarder. And a ball bearing. It looks like it hasn't been used in a while. I'm going to use it for this um, piece here on the base, you see, this like dreadnought arm. I'm going to undercoat it in the fang. Then we we'll do rust grey and fenrisian grey, I suppose. Yeah. Bit of Agrax Earth Shade. That's what we'll do. Right. Larger brushes away here. In the way. And let's get the fang out. To a little there. Bit of water here. Excellent. Right. Okay. Now, paintbrush. I will use. I think I'll use the regiment one. Yeah, I think I will. Start to undercoat this dreadnought arm. It's got a bit of a metal chain going on there as well. 
which is okay. Um, we'll do that. But anyway, yeah, I digress. Um, so yeah, I was a bit annoyed about that, you know. And so I fed it back to the company. And said, you know, why did you put this on your website, on your application process? about the self-employed thing if you're not if you're not looking for that why do you ask people surely you should just say so on your website what you're looking for and they came back almost immediately uh, well within about 10 minutes I suppose and said that uh, sorry about that we we are gonna look at our application form and probably change that you know thank you for your feedback um, we're looking to improve it all the time blah 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 I thought, well, all right then, whatever. Whatever, chap. See, I'm, I'm hoping that this change of angle again will be even better than the last one. friend coming over tonight for a catch up and a chin wag and talk about rubbish and you know life the universe and everything else so that'll be good looking forward to that haven't seen him in a while So that will be good. Sorry, I'm holding this all, all sorts of angles here. <laughs> I'm actually seeing more skulls. Right. I've got some skulls on order from Green Stuff World. They should be here soon. Skulls. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, bless me. Sorry about that. Ugh. Ugh, I didn't see that coming. I rarely do. Let's lift the camera and go up slightly. Just so. Some people have a, an uncanny knack at getting the right camera angle almost instantly. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yeah, looking for a part-time job that I could add to my repertoire. Do with a bit of extra, extra dosh. So hard to get employment when you've got MS though, you know? Try not to let it get to me, but uh, you know, inevitably it does. Excuse me. There. Yeah. That's the first layer of that done, I think. Well, nearly. Nearly done. Right, there we go. I think that's... that's yeah, that's good. and get well might bring my terrain over because 
that's the other part of what I'm going to be doing today. But I will, I'll put him to one side to dry. In. And bring my other terrain over. One there. And one there. But, uh, Wash my brush out. 14 minutes in and uh, I've got to do some more work on his wings but I'll come back to that I think. So that's the thing. Next, no, I'll put our Grex on and then do some more stuff. But, I'm going to start him great. This is where it's at for dry brushing at the moment. little guy, that little inquisitor out of the way. Because I'm going to be dry brushing some more of this dude here. Um, yeah, so I think I'll move this one out of the way. Just there. Pop that down there. Zoom out like I did. Oops, wrong way. That's not zooming out, is it? And um, yeah, um, dry brush. So I've got this. I've also got this army painter on, but I think I'll stick with the uh, Citadel brush for now. Ministratum grey. Let's work that into the bristles. And then away we go. I think I'm going to go um, to the whites on this one. <coughs> oh, excuse me, breathing's a bit raspy. Fortunately, I keep an inhaler out here, a spare inhaler for emergencies such as that. See, I know, but uh, looks a heck of a lot better than bare wood, trust me. I got looks a bit, you know, a bit like that. Oh, my next door neighbours are still having their shed. Built for the structures up, but man, it's taking so long. I mean, Mini Warzone was built in, you know, built in about a week. You know, two weeks tops to, you know, I'd say two to three weeks tops from start to finish. You know, that's electrics and everything. Uh, my poor neighbours, uh, they must be pulling their hair out. i 
got to put another wash or glaze or something on um, the platforms here so that will darken it down a bit. It's funny, <coughs> looking for the uh, the fang colour just now. Thought, right, do you know what? I'm turning off. I'll find it. I'll turn the camera on and come back when I've found it. And then I find it instantly, pretty much. Yeah, so I'm just trying out this new camera angle because I'm always just trying out new things, see what works, see what doesn't work. I mean, I quite like the top down view, but the tripod took up a lot of room on the bench. Whereas when it's to the side, like it is now, it gives me a lot more room on my worktop. Um, and that side where it is now, it's less intrusive. I find anyway. I'm just gonna pop my drink over there. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna put the world to rights tonight when my friend comes on, that's gonna be good. I always enjoy that. It's a real nostalgia trip uh, whenever he comes around. If I remember, I'll dig out some of my old computer magazine stuff we can look through. talk about is um, like school days and that kind of thing which is pretty good because uh, I enjoy all that sort of stuff at Gubbins As you know from my um, memory lane ser series, right? things that he didn't and vice versa he remembers stuff that I can't remember which is good because you know a lot of the time I do forget stuff um. Is on, I'll blast it with some uh, with my airbrush, with some black paint, just in certain areas to give it like that explosive blast area feel. And
I'm going to talk to him about doing the um, doing an, ep an episode of Memory Lane. If he wants to be in it, or not, because he lives in an area uh, that's that's going to be involved. Well, he used to live, sorry, in an area that was involved in the whole thing. See. So, uh, that only seems fair to invite him along, do you know? If he wants to do that, or he, if in, indeed he even he has the time, rather, to do that, you know? Hmm. So. I washed my brushes out thoroughly yesterday. And used the uh, master's brush cleaner on them. <laughs> same again today. Now I'm thinking I might use non-oil gloss. For those areas. What I need is a large crappy brush and I'm sorry I kicked the camera then I am aware of that. Uh, I'm the brush I want though. Just gonna try it out a bit, you know. Don't think I need these out here at the moment. Oh, really steel I might use for the gratings. Or oh, I don't know, we'll see. Just trying to put some paints away. Then after this I'll have to, um, what I'll have to do is um, change the water for my brushes. Right, so this is going to get messy. Right, so Sorry about that. I've got a <coughs> paintbrush in my in my um, mouth at the time. Yes, yeah, so I'm using this non-oil gloss here for this terrain piece, and uh, yeah, I think I like because I'm not going to be varnishing this because it's MDF, right? Doesn't seem a whole lot of point to it. What I will be doing now is uh, highlighting, but not just yet. <coughs> My word, I really am a bit wheezy today.
bottom bits done. Then I'm wondering if I'm going to use normal oil for the top or the platforms. I don't know. It's a possibility. Hmm, we'll see. non oil gloss much so <coughs> I thought I'd use it on this um, it's good to get some use I use the um, Army Painter Quick Shade dip thing for the strong tone for the top for the first layer anyway. I am going to change that though or add to that. Nearly there are these. Look at that. <coughs> oh dear. I don't know why I'm so raspy today. I went to the supermarket earlier to try and pick up the um, latest White Dwarf magazine, but it wasn't there and I was surprised at that. What they would have been in by now. brush <coughs> but a slightly smaller one so I need to thin these bits down yeah I think I'll do that and then I'll do a non oil wash over the whole thing again. And then we'll be in good shape. We're over halfway. I said I was going to do 
other stuff as well, but I just haven't got around to it. Well, an hour only goes so far, but uh, you can still get quite a lot done. I mean, even half an hour, you know, if you mind. this is done finished I mean you know you can go on the future tables battles and stuff excellent Hmm. I don't do a lot of uh, stuff like battle reports and things like that. I've been asked why. I suppose they're not my favourite videos to watch. I mean, I do like them, but they're certainly not my favourite. Just do what you like, don't you? Uh, And they seem to take forever to edit. Shouldn't complain though. They do get a lot of views, it's true. Yeah, so I'm, I've been contemplating making my P&Q series a finite series um, I'm thinking about a number a big number to get to to because it's, it, it, it's one of my favorite ones to film for sure because it's easy just sit in front of a camera turn on boom off you go but it doesn't get the views or interaction that it used to uh, but I don't know maybe I've Maybe people think they've asked me everything there is to ask, but believe me, there isn't so much more. But that's uh, that's down to the people, you know, it's up to the people. But anyway, I was thinking, well, what would be a cool number to end on? I'm thinking. Episode number 365 would be good. Why? Because then I would have a number of episodes out there that if you so... And this is what goes through my head, see. Uh, if you wanted to, you could watch one every day for an entire year. I, just, I don't know, I thought that was cool. It appealed to me. So I, I like that, yeah. Someone's alarm going off. So I was thinking, is it my car alarm? Don't actually know what it sounds like. <laughs> it could have been. Because I've got to do all the underneath of these great grills as well. Put some rust on them as well, I think, you know. Rust them up. Yeah, do that. 
자. doing there at the moment. They just seem to be taking forever with it though. We should be rendering the outside of the brickwork but I don't know what they're doing. Who knows? Yeah, so I was hoping to get the um, April edition of White Dwarf, but uh, Sainsbury's didn't have it, unfortunately. So I ended up buying some cupcakes instead. <laughs> uh, yeah. So shame. Yeah. Thanks to you, GW, for your lack of White Dwarf. I've now got cupcakes, and I'm trying to give that sort of stuff up. It's not the most exciting uh, when you're doing terrain, I know, but uh, it is what it is. to go in all the gaps individually because no one is going to look underneath here I don't think Get in there, though. We're getting there. Definitely get in now. Door on this building could come off at any time. I've got that feeling. Does I'll just can do it back on. I'm gonna need some more oily steel. That's probably too much, but hey. Hey, there you go. Sorry if it's noisy in the background with that. Uh, whatever they got going on there. Compressor of some sort. And he's not airbrushing, I can tell you that. Yeah, I can tell you that much for definite.
Oh, come on, come on. Come on, people. We don't need this. A lot of metal bits sticking out here. Have I done this side? Uh, apparently not. There. There. We are done. That, he says. go. I think that is going to be okay for that. Now I can't do any uh, washing until this is dry. I will wait until that is dry. I'm, go I'm going to weather it up a bit after the, the wash as well and a bit, a bit more beyond probably. Uh, where are we on? 47 minutes. Wow. I know that's not going to be the exact time but I'm just looking at the timer here. Gives me a rough idea of how much time has passed, elapsed, on this episode of On The Bench. I, I'm sorry I haven't spoken much, really, it feels. I mean, hell bent on this piece of terrain here, so, for whatever reason. Data and Rowney brush. They're okay, they're a bit soft, those bristles. Depends what you want to use it for, uh, really. So yeah, I'll give that a, a bit of a chance to dry. Then we'll come in with some more uh, more wash. Yeah, and I think we're good to go. Um, so I'd better end it there, actually. Because I, I it's going to take me too long to get this away. And on somewhere where it can dry. Um, so yeah, so let's end, actually we'll just zoom out and end it here. So there we are. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of On The Bench. Didn't go quite as I was expecting it to go. Did a tiny little bit of Magnus and some stuff on here. But this, this terrain piece, this is the piece which is the really dull piece to work on. Um, I really enjoy working on Magnus. I, I'm not a, a keen terrain fan, but I know it's got to be done. Well, it doesn't have to be, but <laughs> I know it's good to get it done. Um, happy to get this nearer completion now, and I'm really, really happy about that. So I'm going to go and I'm going to let that one dry, um, and then I'll be able to use it in games. So that'll be good. Okay, so. Thank you again for joining me. I uh, hope you got loads of stuff done. Let me know what you're working on. I always enjoy hearing about what you're working on. That's a particular interest for me. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.